Oh yeah. Hey everyone, my name's Envy Perry, and today I'm going to be talking about the age-old debate, anime versus manga. And the real question is, which one is better? In my opinion, visual novels are the best. They are much more- We aren't talking about visual novels. We're talking about anime and manga. There are pros and cons to each side, and I personally like both. But there's a lot of people who get into really heated arguments about how the manga is better than the anime and vice versa. You know how people often say the book is better than the movie? Yeah, that's, that's what weebs say, but manga and anime, they... That isn't necessarily true, though, because every manga and anime is different. Anyways, let's just get right into comparing the two. First, let's talk about some good things about manga. One of the best things about manga is it's the original work, meaning it's gonna be as close as possible to what the original creator wanted. There are all sorts of little details that get left out in the anime that the manga has, and sometimes anime episodes can seem rushed or even dragged out, while manga pacing is usually pretty good. I remember this one battle on the bridge with Zabuza and Kakashi. I felt like it was 12 episodes long. Well, the manga went by pretty fast, actually. The thing about manga is you can read it as fast or as slow as you want. And you can pause any time. It's the kind of thing that you can read wherever you go, so on the subway, during lunch, really whenever is convenient. And you don't need an internet connection. Unless you read it on your phone. But that's a whole nother story. Nerds read books. And manga is anime books. So would that mean you're both a nerd and a weeb? We're not trying to insult the viewers, Suki. Another good thing about manga is it will actually finish. There's a lot of anime that only have one season and 12 episodes, and it never finishes. Most manga, on the other hand, are either finished or will be finished at some point. You might be wondering, why does the manga finish but not the anime? Well, it's usually because anime is much more expensive to make, and unless it's something really popular, it's not gonna get more than a couple seasons. One of the coolest things about manga is you get to know what happens before the anime watchers do. You could watch several arcs ahead and know which characters die or get shipped, and you don't have to wait months for the next season. Just be careful not to spoil it for non-manga readers, though. Hey, have you read the new volume of Ivan Stalion? Yeah, I can't believe the main character's best friend dies. Wait, what? You spoiled it for me, I only watched the anime. Now that we've talked about manga, let's talk about some of the good things about anime. The best thing about anime is HD full color has fondos. Well, kind of. One advantage anime has over manga is color, and instead of still frames, everything has movement. Anime can feel a lot more alive, and we haven't even gotten to the voice acting part yet. Voice acting can really bring characters to life, and really distinguish a voice for each character instead of whatever voice you gave them when you're reading the manga. I mean, if you really liked the voice that you gave a character in your head, I guess that would be pretty disappointing. I gave all my this voice. It's okay, because I am here. I think my version sounds better than the dub. That's very interesting. One of the things I really love about anime is the anime openings, and you're not gonna get that by reading a book. Not gonna lie, even if you don't like Soda Online, and even if I have my own issues with it, the music is really, really good. I still get nostalgic hearing Crossing Field or Yume Sakai. Same thing with the Monica Magica opening. There's a certain energy drive you get from hearing that anime opening that you wouldn't be able to get just by reading a manga. Yeah, music is extremely important. Another advantage anime has is its action scenes. Shonen manga, which are all about action, suffer from one particular thing, and that is hard to understand action scenes. You'll mostly understand what's going on, but there will be times when you end up saying, Nani? In anime, action scenes are much more fluid and easy to understand, and for the most part, much more epic. You get to see the character's movements, every hit, every kick, and every oversized energy blast. One anime fight I really enjoyed was Gara vs. Rock Lee. I mean, that was a really epic battle. Anyways, I remember I was reading Tokyo Ghoul, which I really did enjoy, but whenever there was a fight scene, I seriously had to focus to figure out what was going on. Maybe you just aren't smart enough to process it. I mean, that's always possible, but have a little more faith in me, come on. Speaking of Tokyo Ghoul, that brings us to another difference between anime and manga. Different storylines. I'm not gonna spoil what happens, but basically, major events in the Tokyo Ghoul anime are different from the manga. And if you really like a certain ending, you might get mad that the anime changed that ending. Or vice versa. Some anime like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure are extremely faithful to the manga. And of course, another thing to remember is there are a lot of animes that are originals, meaning there isn't a manga that came before it. The anime is first, and that's all there ever was. And then that brings us to the fact that there are a ton of manga that's written but never turned into anime. This is getting confusing. Give me simple terms. Alright then, here's a very simple version of what we've covered so far. Pros of manga. Original work. Read at your own pace. Actually has an ending. You can see the future. Pros of anime. Everything moves. Voice acting and music. Everything's colored. Action scenes are amazing. 
Well, that's the big difference between the two, but which one is better? That's up to you. I think if you're a more busy kind of person, then manga would be better. And since I'm always busy making videos, I might have to say I personally prefer manga. But if you have enough time, I think anime is a fuller experience because you get music, voice acting, color, movement, it's really quite amazing. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section and which one you like better. As always, my name's MB Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.